Welcome fellow travelers. Valencia is a beautiful city. Have you ever thought about where you could find a place that combines history, modernity, and a lot of life? You don't need to look any further, Valencia is full of wonders just waiting to be found. Have you ever thought about where the delicious Spanish food paella came from? Or how a stream was turned into a lively park with lots of orange trees? Valencia is more than just a city, it's a live example of how time can heal and how magic can be used to make things new again. We're going to go deep into the heart of Valencia in this video and show you its secret gems and answer questions you didn't even know you had. Number 1. Oceanographic Valencia The beautiful design of Oceanographic Valencia was made by builder Felix Candela. It is part of the City of the Arts and Sciences and is made up of several buildings that are each dedicated to one of the world's most important aquatic ecosystems and habitats. These are the Mediterranean, the Red Sea, wetland areas, the Antarctic, the temperate and tropical oceans, and the Arctic. Through underwater tubes in the complex, visitors can see the underwater world of 45,000 sea creatures from 500 different species. The most interesting thing about the caves is that as people walk through them, sharks, seals, sea lions, turtles, penguins, beluga whales, walruses, and other animals float around them. If you get hungry from all the sights you've seen in the complex, there is also an underground restaurant where you can eat a wide range of foods, especially Valencian specialties. The roof of this house was shaped like a lily. This eatery has two floors. The lower floor is surrounded by a large aquarium and the top floor is shaped like an island in the middle of a large lake. You can also get food at Ocean's Restaurant and La Lanja Restaurant. Number 2. The City of Arts and Science The City of Arts and Sciences is one of the most well-known places to visit in Valencia. It is a planned complex made up of some of the city's most famous buildings. The city is known as Ciudad de las Artes y las Sciences in the area, and it has six future buildings, a science museum, an aquarium, a covered square that can be used for different things, an opera base, an outdoor art gallery, and an IMAX theater. Santiago Calatrava, a famous builder from around the world, drew the outline of this cutting-edge infrastructure. There are also meetings, displays, and labs in the city of arts and sciences that have to do with art and science. Number 3. Cathedral de Valencia The Cathedral of Valencia is a beautiful church from the Middle Ages that is known for its Miguelite Tower. The outside of the church is made up of elements from Gothic, Romanesque, and Baroque architecture. The domes are decorated with bright blue tiles that make them stand out as a unique feature of Valencia's skyline. The beautiful Puerta del Palau doorway dates back to the Roman era in the 15th century. The interior design has a thrilling atmosphere, a respectable dome-shaped roof, and a rose window. The Chapel of the Holy Grail is another great place to visit. This chapel has a picture of the Virgin Mary being crowned and the 12 messages in heaven. Number 4. Biopark Valencia Biopark Valencia was made so that animals could find a safe place to stay that was as close as possible to where they would naturally live. On the 25 acres of land north of the park, there is a zoo. The path of the River Turia separates the park from the zoo. There are many different kinds of African animals at the zoo. One of the most well-known places to visit near Valencia is this zoo park. The mood is set so that visitors can feel like they have been transported to Africa. The animals here are free to move around, just like they are in equatorial Africa, Madagascar, and the grasslands. In the wild, all species live together without any problems. Giraffes, rhinoceroses, lions, gorillas, antelopes, crocodiles, and hippos are some of the most well-known wild animals. Number 5. The Fine Arts Museum The Museum of Fine Arts of Valencia is without a doubt one of the best things to do in Valencia. It offers a great chance to spend a fun day exploring a huge number of interesting shows and galleries that will make your trip unforgettable. This beautiful building has a well-deserved reputation for being one of the best museums in Valencia. It's a great spot to get away from everyday life, enjoy the art, and see something new. Inside, you'll find a lot of interesting artifacts from all over the world that are kept there to teach people about other countries and civilizations and to give a clear picture of the art history of different continents, such as Europe. Going to this museum is like walking through memory lane of the whole world. The exhibitions and galleries are set up in a very different way, they are arranged by time period. This means that you can see art from the Middle Ages as well as the 20th century. Then you'll get to the heart of the Valencia Museum of Fine Arts, where you can take a walk through a beautiful area full of great paintings by well-known artists. Number 6. The Torres de Serranos 
Another great place for tourists to visit in Valencia is this grand symbol, which stands for the whole city. It is an old gate from when the old town was surrounded by walls for safety. The town walls were built in the 1400s when Roman government was at its strongest. In 1930, the Serrano's towers were fixed up to look like they did in the past. People can look out at the wide views of the city from these big towers. At the opening to the access gate, decorative Gothic features stand out. Number 7. The Ceramic Museum. Palacio del Marques de Dos Aguas, a beautiful house from the 18th century, is home to the Ceramic Museum. The front of the Marquis' palace is famous for its ornate decorations and door made of sculpted alabaster. The National Pottery Museum has been open since 1947 and is home to more than 5,000 classical pottery artists from Valencia. It also stands for the blue, shiny clay of Azulejos and the white, shiny porcelain of Fayence. Ancient Greek, Arab and Roman porcelain, expensive Asian porcelain, and modern works by Mariano and Picasso are some of the other unique things on display. Number 8. Almoina Archaeological Center The Almoina Archaeological Center was built between 1985 and 2005. It has a silky, modernized design that protects a collection of Roman-era artifacts from the first foundation, which was almost 2,000 years ago. From the Visigoth and Muslim periods, different buildings like a shrine, a forum portico, baths, and a granary can still be seen. People during the time of Christ built a church apse and a baptismal font. There is also a patio, a water wheel, and a pool. The walls that used to surround the Alcazar, which was here during the Islamic era, are still there. Its uncovered area is known as one of the best archaeological sites in Europe. Number 9. El Sailor Beach El Sailor Beach is one of the best places for couples to visit in Valencia. There, they can enjoy a tropical bath, fish dishes, and many fun activities like water sports. The beach at El Sailor is about 13 kilometers from Valencia. It's a long, winding, sandy plain surrounded by great sand dunes. In the nearby La Albufera Natural Park, one popular thing for tourists to do is go fishing. The peaceful beach of El Sailor is a great place to get away from the busy world of material things and relax. Picture a long stretch of white sand shining in the summer sun between hills that never end. You don't have to think about anything, though. Isn't it exciting? The beach is easily accessible from Valencia. You can get there by bus, car, or bike in a few minutes. However, one of the best things about it is how far away it is from the city. You can breathe easier here. The fir trees that grow around the beach add to the beauty of the whole area. Nudists like to hang out in the area to the left of the old hotel city that is closest to El Arbor del Gos Beach. What if you get hungry in the middle of all that nature? Do not go through pain. There are many picnic areas and places where you can end the day with good food. This is what people in Valencia say, bon profit. And that's a wrap on our journey through through the captivating places in Valencia. Now it's your turn. Have you ever been to Valencia? Or do you want to do that after watching this video? Share your thoughts, dreams, and travel tips in the comments section. We love hearing from fellow adventurers like you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you like this virtual tour of Valencia and want more fun trip videos. Thanks for watching.